Hi everybody, today I'm going to be talking um, about the Bathing Garden Sugar Scrubs. These are the creamy sugar scrubs and I got a whole bunch of them from um, the Bathing Garden. Let me just move my camera a bit. And I forgot to show the inside of the scrubs. So I'm not going to read the description of each scrub, like the scent. I'm just going to go over what I purchased and I'm going to show you guys the inside. So the first one is uh, Claus's Candy Shop, and there's the label. What I do love about the labels is she puts a plastic covering over it, so if you have it in the shower, um, it's not going to bleed. Um, this is what the cover looks like, and this is what the actual scrub looks like on the inside. So you can see she's got some candy dots in there, also some sprinkles. And, oh my gosh, you guys, it smells amazing. Like I said, I'm not going to go over the notes or anything like that. I'm just going to show you guys the inside. Um, next is Cranberry Chiffon. That's what this looks like here, the label. And then on the inside, it, oh, this stuff smells so good. It is, um... This beautiful, sparkly, sugary consistency. Um, oh, and it smells just like cranberries. It's so good. Okay, I'll just move my stuff over here. The next one is Balmorte. That's what the label looks like. And this is a darker, um, a darker color. And it's got little um, sprinkles in there and it's more of a mud color consistency but it still smells amazing I love these jars that she does them in too the next one is fairy bonfire this is another dark one and inside it's dark with little pink looks like moisturizing pink beads so that's what that one looks like. The next one is Glitter and Garland. She used to have this one in her store for a while and it completely sold out when she restocked. This is a white base with uh, baby blue and silver glitter. So that's what the inside of that one looks like. All of these, by the way, are extremely heavy. So they're not going to run. They're not... A runny consistency at all they're like a thick 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 sugar this one I got for free it's the brown and brown sugar and uh, Brazilian nut butter that's what the label looks like and on the inside it just looks like brown butter brown sugar and then it's got um, kind of like maroon glitter on it kind of reminds me of like what brown packed brown sugar would look like so that's that one and I got this one for free every order you place with her you get a free size um, item the next one is pink cauldron that's what that looks like on the inside it's this beautiful pink with all these herbs this one I like. This is one of my favorites. Um, the next one is Summer Melon and Mint. That's what that one looks like. And this is a mint um, sugar scrub with pink and lavender dust on the top. Beautiful. The next one is Eye of Newt. And this one is yellow with brown specks in it. It's supposed to be a clean mint flavor. I'm not real sure what the brown specks are, but it smells so good. That one's more of like an earthy one, but still feminine. The next one I got um, in a smaller size, These are the, this is the four ounce size, is this Guava Berry Gelato. 
And on the inside, it's this light pink um, sprinkles, looks like yellow sprinkles and purple sprinkles in this like pink chiffon fluff. It's awesome. The next one is the Clauses Toy Shop. That's what that one looks like. And this is a brown one. And then on the inside, it has a beautiful pink burgundy rose with pink um, little shimmers. You can see that's really pretty. And I'm guessing, actually, I think this is like a sugar rose. Of course, I'm not going to eat it, but it's a sugar rose. Um, the next one that I got is called the Fall Bake Shop. That's what that one looks like. And this one is mint color, like a mint green, and it looks like it's got shavings of white chocolate and very, very light peach um, little sprinkles. And the last one in my order was the Haunted Hayride. Looks like that. And this one is a light yellow with beautiful gold pearl beads and peach, um, peach sprinkles. And then I'll just show you the very first one that I ordered because I wasn't really sure like the first time when I ordered her sugar scrubs what they were going to be like. I've used this sugar scrub probably about four times. And this is what the inside of this one looks like. As you can see, it's a really, really thick, thick consistency. Nothing's coming out. And it's got, this one is pink. This one is called The Sweetest Thing. It's pink with pink sugar inside. So all of these, um, she used to have on her site, but she doesn't anymore. Now, um, today is, so what is today? Today is October 24th. I'm actually going to be moving my line of videos up and posting this on the 26th. Her shop, I believe, is going to be open until the 26th or the 27th. She does sell wax tarts. I highly, highly recommend getting either product, the wax tarts if you love them, or these um, sugar scrubs, they are awesome. The bigger sugar scrub is $8 and the smaller one is $5. So this is the difference of the two. Um, they say that this is eight ounce and they say that this is four ounce, but when you actually weigh it, it is much, much more. Um, and like I said, with every order, she includes one free full size. So if you were to buy a mixture of scrubs, like with this scrub order, I got this full size scrub. I got a sample size scrub, plus I got four soaps. So that's pretty good um, for my order that I made. Um, and then one time I ordered her waxes and I think I got two or three full size waxes out of each one or out of that one order. So she's really, really good about the free samples. I just, I love her labeling. I love her packaging. I love the consistency of everything. Um, I love the way it looks. I The most important part though is I love the way it feels on my skin. When I put this stuff on my skin, I've said this so many times, but I'm gonna say it again. It goes on as a scrub and it's not um, a hurtful scrub like some scrubs are. This is kind of a gentle, medium to gentle exfoliating scrub. Put it on my skin and it, once I um, massage it into my skin for about two to three minutes, it slowly turns into this milk wash. It has a very, very light um, suds to it and the um, scent on it stays on your skin for I would say at least half the day, which is really, really good for a scrub. I mean, most soaps don't do that. So um, I would highly, highly recommend going and buying her product. Again, it is at thebathinggarden.etsy.com. She um, is having neck surgery, so she will be gone for six weeks, unfortunately. So set your calendar after her shop closes because she's going to have the surgery and then she's going to have a huge explosion of product on her website. So make sure to go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment, rate,
subscribe and thumbs up this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.